another form of mental prison. 400 years of oppression, brothers, sisters, listen. Most vision that we would never see our land again. And we will serve in a land we ain't never been. Serving our enemies, hating our own seed. Brothers walked across their back and took their backs bleed. Castrated and hated, we didn't serve with rigor. We've been called by words like spicks and niggas. Lost 12 tribes of Israel. the sea in the belly of the ships we sail so much misery we were rebellious stiff neck hard headed no respect brother Moses told us this would be we were simple sidish Foolish, like a knowledge. Now we serve our enemies. We must be lost. Twelve tribes of Israel. Scattered across the sea. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to another episode of God's Glory and His Story. I'm your host, MC Enemy, but it's not about me. It's about the Word of God and His truth on this channel. Shout out to that intro music. It's called The Lost 12 Tribes of Israel. I don't have a author on this song. I wish I did to tell you, but, but go look it up on YouTube. Don't forget the prayer of Paul to the Ephesians. Ephesians chapter three, verse 16 through 21. If you read it, it will bless you with understanding of God's word and his love for you. If you haven't done so yet or you are new to this channel, we ask that you please download at least two Bible apps. And the reason why we say at least two is because right there in the middle of your screen, the facts of every case must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. And we also ask that you make one of those apps, the 1611 King James Bible with the Apocrypha. There are other books in there that you will not get on the normal Bible, but word tells us is all scripture is profitable. So make sure you get that, that version, at least that version, but you can feel free to get others as well. All right, in case you missed it, Last week, we identified the beast of Revelation. And we showed what to look for from the false prophet. So if you haven't checked that episode out, go back and look it up. Last week's episode, episode number 67, I believe it was. All right, today's episode. It's called Come Out of Her, My People. And as a subtitle, it's Religion versus Corporate Worship. Let's get to work. It is finished. Those three words carry a lot of weight. And especially for the, the, those that are deceived and the unbelieved. They don't want to hear those words. Trust me. They, when Yahshua Jesus said those words, it was the beginning of grace, that undeserved forgiveness. But when that last angel pours out his bowl and says those words, it's over. Or as some people say, yes, the fat lady has sung. At that point, grace is over. It's ended. Won't be no do-overs. Won't be no mulligans. So don't get caught on the wrong side of that door. Get your Salvation Express card today and don't leave home without it.
So I believe the following scripture has been misunderstood and it's, it was bothering me for a while. It was on my spirit. So you know how I do. I go and research stuff. I go look it up. And I hope this episode clears things up for you because it did clear things up for me. 1611 King James Bible, Revelation chapter 18, verses four and five. It is written. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not her plagues for her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her iniquities. So now we're going to use this as a building point to explain that first verse. New Living Translation, Daniel chapter 2, verse 41. It is written, the feet and toes you saw were a combination of iron and baked clay, showing that this kingdom will be divided. Like iron mixed with clay, it will have some of the strength of iron. So the ten toes, the ten toes of iron and clay. I don't know if this is ironic or not, but we're going to look at Pope Leo the Tenth. Pope Leo the Tenth was the head of the Catholic Church and ruler of the Papal States from March 9, 1513, to his death in 1521. He was born into a prominent political and banking. Medici family of Florence. Giovanni was the second son of Lorenz de Medici, ruler of the Florentine Republic, and was elevated to the cardinal, cardinalate in 1489. So Pope Leo X. So what does that have to do with the ten toes of, of iron and clay? Well, Pope Leo X we're going to explain that in just one moment. Let's read another scripture. Revelation, New Living Translation, chapter 17, verse 3. It is written, So the angel took me in the spirit into the wilderness. There I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that had seven heads and ten horns. And blasphemies against God were written all over it. So the ten toes of iron and clay, iron and clay don't mix. So Pope Leo X was the person that excommunicated Martin Luther. He was a leader of a, a break-off sect, so to speak, who had issues with the uh, Roman Catholic Church and they asked him to re retract some of his writings. And when he refused, he was excommunicated. So that was the coming out of the church, coming out of his people. Now, while the, the, the coming out is not complete, it has already largely happened. It already has happened. Like many other things that we read in the scriptures, we don't realize we're looking for it to happen in the future, but yet it's already happened. We just haven't had our blinders removed in order to see it. And truth be told, it may happen again, but it's already happened. So here's some of the Protestant churches, as they, be, they were uh, became to be known, protest, Protestant churches that came out of the Catholic Church. And you can see the list there. Um, many of the churches that you, you may visit today or go to today are shown here, Baptist, Lutheran, Anglican, Methodism, Evangelism, 
Anabaptists. I had to look that up, what that was. That's more like the, uh, the Amish people. Uh, you got Calvinism, you got Adventists, Assemblies of God, United Methodist, Pentecostal, Seventh-day Adventists, Presbyterian, Church of God, uh, Evangelical, Lutheran, Episcopal, African Methodist, Episcopal, Anglican, Communion, National Baptist Convention, Church of the Brethren, African Methodist, Episcopal Church. Those are just some of the Protestant churches that are out there, probably the main ones. So as I said, they've already come out of the Catholic Church. And if you watched the episode last week, you know what that represents. So I'm not going to rehash that. Again, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just trying to take the scriptures and, and explain it so that we can all grasp it. And again, always don't take my word for it. Go back and read it for yourself. I'm not responsible for you not doing your due diligence. So why the split? Martin Luther felt that they, the church was selling forgiveness. The money sparked the, the Protestant Reformation. If you, give a, if you give enough of a donation, we can forgive this, we can forgive that. You know, they go into confession and, and it tells you to say X amount of Hail Marys, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the definition, you know, pay to play. That's the definition of prostitution. So here we have yet another avenue of context for when the Bible references the prostitute. You have to have front, uh, read it and put it in context. Is he referring to Israel or is he referring to the church? So they came out of the church because of religion. And religion is the motion of worship without the spirit of worship. I.e., that's like uh, the Pharisees and the Sadducees back in the biblical days. So if you go to a church and that church sounds like this, If I were you, I would run and don't look back. However, that does not mean that you throw out the baby with the bathwater. You see, there's a difference between corporate worship and religion. Corporate worship is not necessarily religion. Let's see what the word says. New Living Translation, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 through 26. It is written, let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that day of his return is drawing near. At that, brothers and sisters, let us not neglect our meeting together. That's, that's corporate worship. It's like when Yeshua told us that we should tithe but not to neglect the more important things. Go read Luke uh, chapter 11, verse 42. He was talking to the Pharisees, I believe. So reading further on that Hebrew scripture, Hebrews chapter 10, now I'm reading 20, verse 26. It's written, dear friends, if we deliberately continue sinning after we have received 
knowledge of the truth. There is no longer any sacrifice that will cover these sins. And I, I, I include this just for those that know that they're sinning and they are not repentant. And I just left some of the list of the people that this applies to. It's for the liars, the thieves, the murderers, the greedy, the hypocrites, the prideful, the hateful, the homosexuals, the adulterers, the premarital sexers, the lustful, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I just want to say, you know, and I'm not bashing anybody, but you think about it, the term gay pride, they got two things on this list, pride and being homosexual. That's a, that's a double dose. You, you better think twice, better pray. Sixteen eleven King James Bible, Matthew chapter 18, verses 18 through 20. It is written, and this is Jesus talking. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So if you've been to a church and there's like no spirit whatsoever there, as I already said, you know, you should run. But this verse shows that there should be a distinction. I mean, if Jesus is in the midst of them, don't you think there's going to be some joy? I'm just saying, folks. New Living Translation, Isaiah chapter 44. Verses one through five, it is written. But now listen to me, Jacob, my servant, Israel, my chosen one, the Lord who made you and helps you says, do not be afraid. Oh, Jacob, my servant, oh, dear Israel, my chosen one, for I will pour out water to quench your thirst and to irrigate your parched fields. And I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your children. They will thrive like watered grass, like willows on a riverbank. Some will proudly claim, I belong to the Lord. Others will say, I am a descendant of Jacob. Some will write the Lord's name on their hands and will take the name of Israel as their own. So I just want to leave you, brothers and sisters, on a high note like I normally do. I, I do highly suggest you read all of Isaiah chapter 43. It's a powerful uh, chapter, uh, but I'm going to read an excerpt to leave you with some inspiration to get you through to the next episode. So Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 through 7. And then I'm going to skip down and read verses 10 through 13. It is written. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When, I, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not go, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The 
the flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I gave Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Others were given in exchange for you. I traded their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. Do not be afraid for I am with you. I will gather you and your children from east and west. I will say to the north, bring my sons and daughters back to Israel from the distant corners of the earth. Bring all who claim me as their God, for I have made them for my glory. It was I who created them. But you are my witnesses, O Israel, says the Lord. You are my servant. You have been chosen to know me, believe in me, and understand that I alone am God. There is no God other than, there is no other God. Yet I, yes, I am the Lord, and there is no other Savior. First I predicted your rescue, then I saved you and proclaimed it to the world. No foreign God has ever done this. You are witnesses that I am the only God, says the Lord, from eternity to eternity. I am God. No one can snatch anyone out of my hand. No one can undo what I have done. And that's the way you end on that high note. Remember the Cap of Christ at 1234 Eastern Standard Time, a.m. and p.m. It's all about us speaking with one voice. 60 seconds of Kum by Ya. All right, brothers and sisters, I thank you guys for watching. You can catch me on Facebook, Hebrew Connect TV, of course, YouTube. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. But more importantly, we ask that you share it with others. It's our duty to share the gospel. And if you haven't done so yet, we ask that you consider subscribing to this channel. We usually upload on Thursdays or Fridays, sometimes on Saturdays. It all depends on my, my work schedule for the week. But we always are themed trying to let you know that this is your history. This is the history that you need and the history that we want to find out will be given to us at a later date but you take what you can get. Email address right there in the middle of your screen. And I'd love to hear from you guys if you want to drop me a line in the comments. They always appreciate it. All right, brothers and sisters, as always, love you guys, appreciate you guys. As always, worship the Father, praise the Son, and accept the Holy Spirit. Y'all be blessed until next time. Peace. In the belly of the ships we sail. So much misery. Now that the curse is lifted, we can finally see the light. We praise the most high, we can finally get it right. We keep the holy Sabbath, we break it, no commandment. We standing on the corner, letting these other nations have it. I know the truth heard, but see the truth work. Fulfilling prophecy, yeah, to the Jew first. Everybody ain't gonna get it, so that truth heard. Breaking down all lies and religion first. See our first prophecy, and yo, I fit the curse. Look at the news, is real, man, it's getting worse. Jacob trouble is real, head hard as steel. Broad is the way that leads you off to hell, yeah. Lost 12 tribes of Israel Scattered across the sea In the belly of the ships we sail So much misery We were rebellious, stiff-necked, hard-headed No respect, brother Moses told us this would be 
like a knowledge. Now we serve our enemies. We must be lost. Twelve tribes of Israel.